Well, hello. Today I have a pen from Mr. Pen slash uh, italics. This is a Chaplin's Tankard um, with one of his speciality nib grinds. So, first of all, you get a nice simple box with Mr. Pen written on the box. In the box, you have a pen from Mr. Pen. Nice simple box. Doesn't take up too much space if you're a hoarder like me and you keep your pen boxes. Uh, so here we have an italics, which is on the cap band there, Chaplin's Tankard, which is a black pen with gold trim. Stiff, but, well, not too stiff, but usable clip. Nice little upturn there if you're slipping that into your pocket. Um, we have a number size, a uh, number size, a size six or number six nib with italics on there. Uh, pretty sure that's a Yovo. Um, cap unscrews one, two, nib, plastic feet. Very nice. You've got uh, metal threads there which are not sharp, so quite comfy if you're getting your fingers in and about there. Um, there's a tiny step down just off the barrel onto the threads. So again, I wouldn't say sharp. Um, for me, if I if I was holding that there, that's not that's not bad. That's not uncomfortable. But you can just feel that a little bit. Um, so you got flat uh, cap finial there, and flat on the end finial as well. Um, this pen has a, so it has a blind cap and you can operate the converter through a little add-on there to the converter which I will show you in a second. Um, this is advertised on their website as a button filler um, so it's not it's not your typical what you might think of I don't know on a on a vintage pen uh, where you have the button which will compress a sack inside it's a cartridge converter pen um, with a twisty turny knob on the end which I will show you um, I've seen uh, other people mention the fact that you want to be careful unscrewing the barrel uh, if it's inked because the add-on to the converter can operate if the barrel catches it, but I haven't had that myself, uh, so I don't know whether that is fixed. But basically, this just pops on off to your standard converter, uh, converter included in the pen. Uh, so if you didn't like this and you just wanted to unscrew uh, the barrel to operate the converter normally, you can do so if you like to fill your pen through the blind cap without uh, having to unscrew the whole barrel you can also do that um so yeah you got metal barrel threads uh, going on the plastic here but that is nice and smooth and tightens up securely uh, section ever so slightly uh, concave, just flaring out a little bit towards the nib. But it's a nice sized uh, section I find for my my particular fingers and my particular grip. Uh, barrel goes straight here and then just tapering off into that blind cap. Uh, it's well put together. Um, it's a lacquered finish, 
feels nice and substantial in the hand, but well put together. Um, you don't feel that joy in there, uh, or seam, whatever you want to call it. Um, well put together pen. So measurements of the pen. There you go. Paused it. Read it. Excellent. So let us do a writing sample. Uh, we have Claire Fontaine. Um, I'm still going to say pretty sure 90 GSM because it's not marked on this particular notepad, but it's Claire Fontaine at any rate. So we have the. Uh, see, I've forgotten the special nib properties here, which I'll tell you in a second. I italics. Chaplin's Tankard. Now, the nib on here is um, one of the grinds that he offers. Uh, and I'll go into that in a little bit more detail in a second. But it is a left oblique non italic. in a medium. And that is why I had trouble starting off here because I went to write as if it was a normal nib because I'm a massive doofus. So the ink in here is Waterman Serenity Blue. Uh, nice and smooth um, at the correct angle uh, for this nib. And keeps up nicely with a bit fast writing. Decent amount of wetness there. This isn't the wettest ink in the world, but you get um, you get a nice flow out of that. Um, reverse. You can get an extra fine out of that, but uh, not too bad if you get that at the right place. So the nib. So as I say, left oblique, uh, non-italic. So Mr. Penn offers around 20 different nib options, uh, including your standard um, fine, medium, broad, etc. Um, but he offers quite a few custom grinds, uh, one of which are obliques, so your left oblique, right oblique, oblique italic, oblique non-italic, cursive italic, etc. Um, 
if you want to check him out uh, on his website, it's mrpen.co.uk. Um, it does offer quite a few uh, nib options if you wanted to try out different things uh, without breaking the bank. Um, so this particular one, I wanted to try out. I'd not tried the uh, left oblique. So basically, if you turn, if you um, if you're a right-hander and you turn or rotate your nib into the page, so rather than straight flat, you have a tendency to turn in like that. This might be for you. So it's ground with a little flat spot just on the left side here. Um, so if you were to write straight on, it does work. But if you, ro if you rotate that, so you're almost writing, I'm going to exaggerate, but all like side on into the page, you're going to get your proper line there. And I'm not a master at it, so so you get your nice thick line. I mean, this is a a grind based on a medium. It does come out on the broader side of medium, which is good for me. Um, you're not going to get a massive amount of line variation. So even if I put some pressure on that, you're going to wetten it up more than anything else. Um, but yeah, if if you, I mean, it does write if you if you're at your normal kind of, I say normal, forty five degree kind of angle that I write with. But that's your optimum. It's got your your left side kind of lean on it, um, and you can get that right handed. So if you were left handed, and you did the same thing, or you overwrite, or whatever style your handwriting is uh, there might be a particular grind that's going to work for you um, but these um, so this is this particular model is uh, he's got it on his website for 29.95 uh, that's British pounds uh, including the VAT uh, for European countries and he also offers uh, two of these for Fifty-four pounds, including VAT, so you could get a pack of two. Um, and a couple of different nib grinds. So that that does include that does include the grind or whatever nib option you're after. My focus is gone. Uh, so that is so the prices I just mentioned is inclusive of whatever nib option. Um, you wanted to choose so if you wanted to explore a lot of different nib grinds styles etc at a relatively inexpensive price it's not a bad shout at all you could you could get multiples of these um, with whatever grinds you wanted to try out for not a stupid amount of money uh, it does offer other pens as I understand it um, they used to uh, make a lot more models, um, but uh, they are winding down a little bit. So kind of what's on the website is what's available and when it's gone, it's gone. Uh, but they still offer a few different options on there. So just for a bit of a size comparison, here you have an italics Chaplin's tankard next to the good old Lamy Safari. Uh, you have a Lamy 2000 Jinhao X159 and Leonardo Memento Zero Grande. So it's a nice size pen. I tend to go for a girthier kind of 
pen feels more comfortable in my hand, but the they're not tiny by any means. They're they're a good size, kind of um, relative to your Safari size. There. So there you have it, that's the uh, Italics Chaplin's Tankard. Um, there's a number of good things here. I mean, you've got the option of operating your converter through the blind cap. You've got the option of removing um, the button twisty knob, which is the technical term. I'm reliably informed. Um, and using it as normal cartridge converter pen. Obviously you've got cartridges that you could use. Uh, you've got nib grind options for a reasonable price uh, it's a good it's a good um, standard type standard but uh, on the perhaps semi large size but um, what I would consider a good size for my hand um, even though I tend to favor perhaps a slightly girthier pen it's extremely comfortable it does post by the way um, but not I wouldn't say brilliantly. Um, so it'll go on there if, if you really need to, but it, I mean, it makes it pretty long. But um, if you're a poster, it will post, but it's a little bit, I wouldn't say secure. So you get a bit of wobble on there and you, could, you can force that down a little bit. Secure enough, perhaps, but um, just want to watch out if you do like to post your pens. It's not the most secure poster in the entire world. But like I say, um, really great if you want to explore a few different nib options, grinds, etc. For a good price. I thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button if you like it. And I'll see you next time. Take it easy. Bye-bye.